There's nothing like crusting your fish with chips. Today on the menu, we have a corn tortilla chip crusted mahi mahi, and I'm serving it on a divine taco salad. As always, with every recipe, you can make this however you want. You can use another fish, you can use another chip, you can use another salad. I am just here to inspire you, and if you want to follow the recipe, cool. That's awesome. We're in this together. So I have two mahi mahi fillets here. If you have frozen mahi-mahi, defrost them in the fridge the night before. That is the safest way to defrost fish. You can Google and Google and Google all you want, but that's just cutting to the chase. Put it in your fridge. I'm gonna set my oven to broil on high. Just drying off my mahi-mahi one more time with a paper towel. You do not want a wet fish because it will not crisp the same as a dried off fish. The skin is on. These come pretty thin, the ones that I have. So I'm just leaving them on and it comes off easier when it's cooked. Gluten-free flour, egg wash, and my crushed up corn tortilla chips. You know, some good old yellow corn tortilla chips. These are from Jackson's Honest, I don't know. Delish. Mm. If your corn tortilla chips aren't salted, Add some salt because you're gonna want some salt. Now I'm gonna grab one of the fillets. I have a dry hand and a wet hand. This is my dry hand. So first I'm gonna coat the dried off mahi mahi fillet in some flour on all sides. Now I'm going to take my wet hand and put it into the egg wash. And with my wet hands, I will place it into this bowl and with my dry hand I will flip it over make sure it's thoroughly crusted as such oh this is gonna be so delicious the reason I chose uh, corn tortilla chips is because it reminds me of a taco shell you're essentially using that taco shell to crust your fish and you're getting the flavor in a different way than you normally would. I have an oven safe cast iron skillet with me here. You can use any pan that is oven safe up to 500 degrees. If you don't have a pan that is oven safe, then you can just sear the fish, but make sure you start the heat off high so you can brown those chips and then you lower it so you're not totally blasting the poor fish with heat and drying it out. I'm gonna put some olive oil in this cast iron. The reason I'm putting olive oil in here is so that the skin will get nice and crispy as it's broiling. Fully coated pan right here. Not a ton of oil, it's just enough to coat the bottom. Eh, why not, let's sprinkle a little more of these on top. I have them, might as well. The fish are in the pan. I'm gonna put them in the oven. I don't want the heat to destroy the chips, I want it to toast the chips. So I put it on the second row. Now I'm gonna clean this up, clean up my hands, and we're gonna make our salad. We're about to make salad taste very delicious. Don't believe me, just watch. First off, I washed some black beans straight from the can. I used the organic Goya brand. I'm gonna mix some cilantro in here. All of the cilantro. half a teaspoon of lime juice. <laughs> you can't forget the avocados. You just can't forget the avocados. Oh my god, no! That's so sad. Yay!
My fish is done. Look how beautiful the mahi-mahi turned out. You know it's ready when the internal temp is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. My salad is basically done. So the next steps here, we have these shallots. I'm also just gonna get some more cilantro for topping. And I'm gonna scoop out the avocado slices because I'm going to put them on the side. I don't wanna break these, I want them to be pretty. So just take a spoon and scoop, scoop them out. Put them on a clean surface. This cutting board was washed. It's only touched vegetables since we made our salad. If you have a very browned avocado, cause you never know what you're gonna get, let's be real, make a guacamole, serve it on the side. No one can really tell how brown an avocado is when it's in guacamole, nobody cares. Yeah, this was a sad avocado. I've got cilantro, I'm just gonna pull the leaves off. And guess what everyone, you can eat the stems. To cilantro. Isn't that exciting? The reason people do get rid of the stems is just for texture purposes. Like if you want a nice soft leaf, you don't want to have to break through a stringy stem. And you also can finely chop this, you can mince it, you can use scallions, you can use chives. I do recommend putting some kind of green herb on top just because it adds a nice pop of flavor and it also brightens up the experience a little bit with how it looks. Something else I'm gonna do, which you really do not have to do. I'm gonna char my limes and put them on top. I think it's a cute little touch. You can totally put a raw lime on top and it's going to be exactly the same. This is just for appearances. So I'm going to take off the cooked mahi-mahi and put it on the freshly cleaned cutting board. I'm gonna just scrape any excess corn chips into the trash. Get that pan really hot, and then you're gonna put the limes onto the pan. Charred limes are a good time. So I have the rest of my tortilla chips, by the way. Crush, crucial, crush. Okay. We want like a shallow salad, and I'm gonna put it kind of all over the plate like this. Make sure you get those beautiful tomatoes and create like a bed in the middle for that fish. Squeeze a little lime. Oh yeah, let's cut it up. Oh my gosh, the crisp on this fish. I'm gonna get some salad in this bite. Mm. This is like a fish taco salad. It truly is. You have the corn tortilla on the fish which goes with the lettuce, the black beans, the tomato. You gotta get the shallot in every bite. I think it just sets it apart and sets it over the edge. And of course, I'm gonna put some avocado. This is a well-rounded bite right here. The mahi-mahi, it's a little dense, but it's also flaky. I think it's that middle ground, so it's a strong fish, but it's also a delicate fish. Um, also, if you don't like fish, do not worry. Do not fret. You can totally make this with chicken. My blood. I love you all for watching my channel, so subscribe if you like it. If you like to eat, if you like to dine out, if you like to cook, I got something for you. I promise, I got something just for you. Okay guys, bye, I'm eating. Mmm. Oh, mm -mm.